Hello, fire signs. Kay Price is here. I'm going to do your Ben reading. What I have for you is the High Priestess reversed, King of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Pentacles upright, and the Six of Cups reversed. Now, this is what I feel about this, okay? I feel like there may be a situation in which one of you guys um, wasn't sure what you're going to do. You thought about the shit. You realize that if you didn't want to lose this person or whatever, whatever. You feel like it's time to grow up. Somebody feels it's time to grow up, okay? And move forward with something they already said they were going to do. I feel like it's maybe something that you already want to do or it was already in your mind and your heart. Now it will be on your, on, your, on your hands. You know what I mean? Like you ready to make moves. You ready to do it? You say, fuck it. This is how it is. It's life. So what? So on and so forth. I kind of feel when I see this King of Pentacles reverse, like you were trying to wrangle something in a, in the way you wanted to do it. You want everything to be how you want it. This, this, and this. But with the queen being here, the queen I feel makes you, male or female, feel more, not as hard as you were before about this got to be right, that got to be right. You had these high ideals that were like impossible for someone to hit for you or whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Um, but the Six of Cups reverse, it just makes me feel like all oh, everything old is washed away. This is a new situation and this is what it is. It's like you've made your mind up that this is what it is and this is how it's going to be and I'm going to take this what this is and make it the best i can fucking make it i feel like there was a, a situation in which you or a attitude in which someone had about like i gotta have it my way it gotta go my way no matter what um this gotta happen this way this gotta happen that way i want these things to happen my way and that's the way it's going to be or I'm not going to X, Y, and Z. And I really feel like you, like I said, you come to a realization that that's not how it's supposed to be. If I love this person, that's what the fuck I'm going to do. Love them. And I'm going to give them either what they deserve, what they ask for. Because I know that I can't be no asshole because I want to keep this person in my life. And I feel like this is a winning situation for you. Okay. You win it and you're ready to move on to something that you've been high up in the air. It's like it's something that either you've never done before, this way you've been acting. I mean, acting better, you know? Or it's something that you're, it's like moving into new territory, but at the same time, it's something you're familiar with, but something you know you want to do, and something that is going to happen that everybody's expecting you to do, but it's really what you want, and you're going to do it. I feel like there may have been someone beckoning you to try to talk to you or try to see you or try to have a conversation with you or they may try to do this in the future here soon coming up and I feel like you ain't trying to hear it you don't want to hear it because their feelings are hurt and they're going to try to lash out at you when they either see this situation going north for you and they feel like shit is going south because y'all ain't together and they're going to try to lash out at you one way or another. And I feel like, obviously, that's all for naught because it's not going to change your mind. I feel like this person is going to, like, lose their shit. They may call a bunch of people that know you and try to smear you. They start their smear campaign of you because they're so upset that they didn't get what they want. And you've, it's like you've hit this certain stage in your mind that you want to do things this way and that's just what the fuck is gonna be i don't even think that you feel bad about this other person and how they feel is hurt i feel like you like look here this is the facts of life motherfucker and if you can't deal with your life then damn okay maybe you need to go seek professional help you know if you can't deal with what the hell i'm doing over here you know i do feel there's a huge change coming up for you and i think it's going to be a good change for you i really do I, I see celebrations and happiness and everybody getting everything you know it shit is what it is i mean it is what it is 
I mean, and nothing is perfect, but it's as best it can fucking be. Because I feel like it's two people working together on something. And I feel like it's going to be... I hear something about a power couple. I don't mean Beyonce and Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I mean, honestly, right? I mean, like... Your relationship with somebody can get so good that it's like automatic trust. Like you automatically start trusting each other because there's no reason for you to be upset. There's no reason for you to be all out of sorts or be worried about something that's not going to happen. I feel they have shut this other person completely out. They have shut this person out. This person tried to hold on to them and they don't want them to hold on to them. They feel like this other person is really like dogging them, like really trying to get towards them. But like I said, they're going to try to smear campaign. So if somebody come to you, try to tell you some shit about your mate. Unless you fucking see that there's a fucking problem, then don't believe that shit. I can tell the bitch like this here. <clears throat> bitch. Good for you. I know what it is. They over here and they're not over there with you. Now, if that ain't enough to tell you to get the fuck on, then I was set. You know what I mean? Because this is an adult person and they're not spending no time with you. I'm not holding my motherfucker hostage. If they wanted to see you, they w they could see you. You know what I mean? They ain't locked up nowhere. And the fact that they're not trying to see you or they're not calling you, they're not, you know what I mean? They're not getting rid of me tells you should tell you if you in your right mind instead of delusional or in a dream world, same thing goes. That they don't want your ass. And it's just time to move the fuck on. Some people don't get it. You know. Because they be so stuck on what they want. Or so trying to be competitive when they already lost. Like the race is over. Everybody went home. And you know what I'm saying. It's raining. And you still out there running. Like damn. Okay. Nobody. Anyway. I'm just going on and on. Anyway. So I hope you understand what I mean when I said that. But I think that's all I have for you, fire signs. Much love to y'all. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.